years prior to beginning the project, I had spent a year in New Jersey caring for both my parents. Um, my mom has Alzheimer's disease and during that period I made a conscious decision not to photograph my family. It did though have a big emotional impact on me and I knew somewhere it was going to emerge in my work. About a year after uh, that time in New Jersey, I was visiting a relative's property and she had a very old horse named Petey. I was just fascinated, mesmerized with Petey and uh, fell in love with him and spent the afternoon photographing him. But I didn't think that there was the basis of a, a long-term project there. Uh, I was thinking of it as more therapy. It organically developed into a project. There have been points when I've fought back tears as I'm shooting. Um, the rooster, in particular, was just in such a sad state when I encountered him. I was just feeling and not thinking when I was with him. I wanted to make sure that I honored that experience. I wanted the images to be unflinching in their detail. I didn't want there to be any risk of sentimentality with the work. Because it feels to me disrespectful uh, to who the animal really is. In a lot of respects, these images say as much about me as they do about my subjects. The caregivers have found a lot of comfort in the images, particularly after their animals have passed. That there is an image that, that they feel has really shown who their animal was. I'm looking at mortality and aging, and that's not easy subject material. Some of the subjects do seem sad and tired. Some of them are downright defiant and stare down the camera. I think these images are testaments to survival and endurance and finding meaning and joy in life uh, in the face of physical limitations and challenges. Mm -hmm.